I love LA. I love the West Coast. I love the styles out here. This MC DJ, she spits I scratch. Uh, it's, it's basic and elementary. Me and Ethos have been able to dedicate our lives to hip hop even before we met each other. And I think that's what keeps us close to be able to keep on rocking and making music. Graffiti is the shit. Graffiti is what I love. I love graffiti, 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 graffiti. Shaking the can, holding the mic. What's up? This is J Roz One. I'm a MC. I rock live shows with DJ Ethos. I've been rocking the mic since uh, I was 14, um, battling, doing freestyles at open mics, any type of mic I could jump on. And right now I'm at the point in my life where I'm working on this album with uh, Ethos and I'm learning the different aspects of how far you can take recording and that's where I'm entering the realm of making good music and mastering my craft. I'm DJ Ethos. I am a producer, turntablist. I've been doing this for about eight, nine years or so. Now I'm coming to a point where I am producing and collecting more vinyl. So my friend, uh, my friend hits me up about this show that he's throwing, but um, at that time I was like, yeah, I got these new tracks out, I just want to go spit them at this spot. Random people were coming up to the stage and performing a song or two, and um, I remember this girl came up to me and had, she had two records with her, and she asked me if I could play these. And I was telling her, okay, well, okay, get your guy ready, whoever's doing the rhymes and shit, you know? She's like, okay, here, whatever, here, take the records put this track on, whatever. So then I put a track on, and at that moment, I noticed that it, it was her. She was the one that was about to bust. And then he drops in the graph cut, and he's just like, Check it, check it, check it. Picture your life through the eyes of a graph artist. We all set up, panty tags, get it more precise with paint targets. Smartest battles on the loose, blocking the truth. What goes because she's abusing streets and streets and other body tools. Abuse empty buses, you know that we rock. Play spots and fast cries, that's a bottom, not a stop. Shock spots on which bottom, diverse styles, you know the bottom. You say this shit, the deputy, it's because I freaking shot it while you're blind. From there on, we just saw how much chemistry we had because we both have the same, um, ideas and, and standards of, of how a show should be and what should be incorporated in it. I got a complex style. My style is really ballistic. It's really quick. You got to be quick with it to understand it. I write about pretty much everything and anything. I write about my love for the art of emceeing. I write about frustrations and uh, that are going on in graph, politics, to waking up in the morning, any type of little thing going on. So, whether it be something small or something universal, I'll wrap it back. B-boys, hit that boom, bit. they go one, two, step back, twist, sway. So cow, be gals, pure and delicate balance with attitude. Don't watch how we tell it instinctively. Instinctively, cypher start a kick, I'm sure what it means to be. True to this, luminous, rocket rudiments and boomer kicks. You the shit, nah, man, I chair a zuna, bitch. Ain't no lunatic, I'm intuitive. To the evil wickedness, who want to rule? This. They want to use you quick, don't got a clue of this When well, your spiritual essence is on some exclusive shit If you feel me, show me you're aware If you love hip hop, put your hands up in the air If you're up, you work up your legs by doing a flare If you can't about it, well, you better come prepared Right now we're just chilling over here at the record store looking for some samples, man. I like digging in the 99 cent stacks because they're cheap. And uh, no one really bugs out when you sample that stuff, you know, because they're not platinum hits. And for example, things like this. So, uh, that's gonna slip. Yeah, looking for <laughs> records is definitely an adventure. Um, when you're out there trying to find the next sample for something you might already have halfway done, it's kind of a, a surprise once you come to it. Now, personally, I like breaks and funk and uh, world music is definitely one of, one of the, the elements that I like to use in my breaks and my beats. Could be a, a record from, from an indigenous tribe in the 1800s or it could be something brand new that was just recorded a week ago. When I was 16, I wanted to put an album out by the time I was 18, but I didn't get to do that, so I put it out at 19, which was cool. And that was a way to show people out there 
that I was serious and pretty much what they see is a MC who is really living the life, but that's what she's doing at home in LA. Um, I've been doing graph for eight plus years. Um, started out, you know, just writing people's names and it was something that I would do for people because I wanted to write their names and it was just something I couldn't hold back. And so then I started this liquor store, you know, this spot and whatnot, and to get, it's kind of connecting with your city, but it's also a rebellious attitude against society that confuses us and might distract us from what we really have potential at doing. And it's our way of breaking out and saying, you know, like what we do in school, what they want me to be, why don't they have an outlet for what I want to do, you know? So I think they end up finding themselves with graffiti because it's so real. Um, yeah, it takes a lot of a lot of guts to go out there and piece on a on a wall, like say you go and hit the freeway. It, it takes a lot of guts because you know you got either gangs that are gonna try to approach you or police to be able to create a bomb or a piece within like 15 minutes, not be seen and have this style that's just like, oh my goodness, how did you do that? To have even people that don't do graffiti look at it and be like, well, how did they do that? Because people always come up to, to me and ask me, hey, how did they ride on the free? How did they ride on the, how did they get up on? And that's what I think is the cool thing about it is graph is so underground that only the people who do graph know the true secrets of how to really make it effective. Yeah, I got real ant to do to do these shows, able to express to new people. When they see us go up and rock, there's just nothing but love, you know. Represent the effort right now, make some noise. Right, yo, effort. Going to Mexico was a a great experience for myself personally, just because. Uh, never thought that I would be able to come back to the country to to do what I learned over here. To see the kids out there loving your music so much that they buy your your merch and they're rocking your shirt and they go up to the front, they come back and then they're holding up your poster and they're yelling your name. It really shows that you're really appreciated and that you're doing something good. Our shows are real live. You'll see a lot of um, DJ, MC interaction. I might just spit a freestyle out of nowhere because I'm feeling it and as will Ethos. And pretty much you'll just have fun and it's, you'll definitely remember our show when you go see us rock.